Afternoon folks, welcome to today's stream, uh, 2 minutes 30 to go, we're doing the 3R Greater London Flat Race, uh, just one lap, so short, fast, um, we should have been racing outdoors today, um, a couple of technical issues meant that we couldn't jump in the car and drive down to Lancaster for the first crit, so to say do some swift racing, as is always the case, Fast start. Must remember and try not to hang with the A's. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Time to start ramping up again to try and get that little boost out the gate. Not too concerned with that group. There is a C in there, but of course, this rip power is not really a C. So I'm not going to try and bury myself and hang on to them. So as I said at the start, a couple of issues with the real life bike today. Got some new carbon aero bars on there. Got them all installed. Had to take it to the shop because the, the opening, the cables were ridiculously tight. Had to two mechanics to get the cables in. So I got the bike back last night. Picked up the bars, put the pedals on, recalibrated the power meter, went out for a little spin. 30 seconds, basically to the end of the street, up and down the gears. Hit a bump, handlebars dropped right forward. We've got to put a carbon grip lock on. So I went to take the bars off and the nuts are faded straight away, which is a bit bizarre. So I had to take it back to the shop and get them to do a bit of wizardry, change the size of the openings. So they're back on, the bars, they're nice and secure now with some grip, grip lock. However, that means that we weren't able to drive down to Lancaster for the first race of the season. So that'll need to wait for another couple of weeks. Decided to go to the canyon today. And the heavy wheels, for no reason other than that fed up with the torn bike. Wanted to do something a bit different. We're not competing at the pointy end, so it doesn't really matter if my bike is half a second quicker or whatever it is. It's all just training, and if we happen to pick up a decent placing on the power at the end, then great bonus. But we're not chasing trophies. Okay, so that's the. The lead in, nearly done, and then we start one full lap. There's a couple of little inclines, I wouldn't call them hills. Interesting. With the uh, with the setup of the real race bike last night, I've had to take my saddle off of this bike. It's on a completely different uh, tubing, so I can't swap it between bikes. So I put on a, another spare saddle. Hmm. It's not feeling that it's quite the right height. I feel like I might be stretching ever so slightly at the downstroke. Maybe it's just because I've never ridden this saddle before. Who knows? We've only got just under 11k to go. So I'm sure I can put up with a little bit of discomfort. Tell you what, this companion app takes longer and longer to get you in the game than it used to do. If you've not seen myself, or especially Ian Anderson, or Daphne Williams, any of the other KRT riders who are streaming, if you've not seen their streams recently, and you're wondering what that little figure is in the black square, that's my MPA, maximum power available, which comes from XR. Little algorithm that works out what I've got left in the tank. And that figure goes up and down, Depending on how close or how far above threshold I'm working and then obviously when I'm cruising it slowly keeps back up because you're technically recovering. The thing is that power eventually runs out. You might not see it today but certainly if you're doing hard interval efforts that figure will go down and come back up. But when it comes back up it's not going to come up to the same level. It's going to deplete itself over time. I can't see it on screen, I don't want to look at it, it's a metric that I just look at afterwards. I know I'm working hard, if I'm working hard. I don't want to be controlled by a figure. If I think I've got something left, I'll go for it. If I don't, then, so it's just for the stream, just so you can see it. Oh, you're joking. Drop out and back. I don't know what's happening here. My internet connection 
it doesn't seem to be very robust since I moved an Orbi satellite out into the garage. I do a speed test in the house, I'm getting about 180, an upload speed of about 20, and then in the garage it's fluctuating from between, I had it as low as 1, but then it was at 11 just before I started the stream, and the upload was about 8, but that's clearly a drop out there, so I think I need to inquire about running a second line from the street into the garage. Okay, 10k gone, 7 to go, a nice little bunch here. Half an hour to go to the next race. <laughs> we'll see if we make that one. Might just do a longer easy ride. The legs are howling a little bit already. Don't want to get left at the back. But be very careful on Zwift. If you lose that wheel, it could be game over. Especially if the bunch accelerates at the same time that you lose the wheel. Because you're essentially going to have to put a hard, almost sprint-like effort in to catch. You've got to keep your wits about you. Similar to being on the road, you've got to watch people's wheels, watch the road for obstacles. Same type of stress involved in Zwift racing. You've got to watch for those gaps. Watch people's power down the side, their watts per kilo. And react when you need to. Or ideally, have yourself in a position where you don't need to constantly yo-yo back and forward. So 5k, there's about 13, 14 of us in this bunch, mostly C's, there's an A, a D, a couple of B's. If you haven't seen the stream from Thursday night, KISS Community League number 3, just click to the top of the page, KISS TV, and you'll see it there. That's the full, unedited, slightly choppy video of those four laps around the Innsbruck ring. Tough little climb that leg snapper. Weirdly enough, starting to enjoy it. Type 2 fun I guess, as we say in KISS. Okay, tiny little climb coming up here. I think it's about 3, 4%. You don't want to blow up the front. You don't want to come out the back. You just want to keep a nice steady rhythm. Try and maintain a bit of speed and carry that, carry that up and over the top. We don't need to chase him, we just let the group work together, bring him back or not, as it looks like just now. 1500 to go and I could really do with my heart rate coming down a little bit. Okay, coming up to the turn, onto the mile and then everyone will start to Pop the rails, open up the sprint. We don't have an arrow. Good race. Let's see. Swift Power Live tab in the seas. Ooh. Has me down. One, two, three, four. Has me in fifth. But there should be two in front of that getting kicked out. We'll see what happens when the when the results get finalised. Anyway, let's end that ride. There's the timeline we want. Steady workout. 
Okay, so that's going to be it. If you've liked it, drop some thumbs up, please. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Right on.